I scrolled and died this little fella yesterday on John Cousins Live. Uh, what if I could scroll is his YouTube channel. I'll put a link. I'll put a link right up there in that corner. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put it together. I've got my logo burned in the back. Uh, this is a late Valentine's Day gift from my wife. She loves frogs. She's got hundreds of them. Uh, I didn't get it done in time because I was sick with an ear infection. So the mother of all ear infections is horrible. Absolutely horrible. So I'm going to put some glue right there. Spread it out so I don't get a whole lot of squeeze out. Got a little carried away there. <clears throat> I might have got a little carried away. Stand it up. Get it nice and centered as best I can. I will let this stay in the clamps for about an hour. That should be sufficient. Okay, spin the clamps a little over an hour so I can take them off. I'll squeeze out looks good. Loose a good. Now what I'll do is I'll glue this on here. And I'm not worried about it being a strong joint because my grain is running this way in both pieces. So even though it's down here on the bottom, this is in grain here. This is long grain. So I'll have a long grain to long grain joint and it will be just fine. So put me a little glue on here. Again, I don't want too much because I don't want to squeeze out if I can help it. Or at least not much. Whatever I have, I can clean up easy. I think the easiest way to do this is to set this down here and so basically so y'all can see what I'm doing I've just lined the middle of his four legs up with the middle or with his front legs up with his front legs the now clamping this booger could be tricky 
because it might not. I might be able to do this. I might be able to do this. <clears throat> Very often, clamping round parts to flat parts can be a tricky issue. But in this case, I think it's going to be just fine. Actually, I think what I'm going to do right now is I'm, I'm going to turn this around because I'm going to glue Mr. Froggy's head on just to get it done and out of the way. That way, after a couple hours, I can come back and put finish on him. I think about right there. So, using this as a template of where to put my glue. I don't want any glue in his nose holes. Once the glue starts to tack up, it will, it won't move. But until then, you got to hold it about 15 seconds. Uh, up until about 15 seconds, the oh crap, I forget what it's called. It has to do with fluid dynamics. This wants to slide around, uh, and and when you're gluing pieces together, if you've done any woodworking at all. You've noticed that the glue is really slick and sometimes aligning pieces can be difficult. If you just hold it in place 10-15 seconds and let it kind of tack up, now it doesn't slide around anymore. So now when I pick this up to put the clamp on it, and I only need to use one, it's not going to move on me. So now that that's not going to move, I'll put the clamp back there. Got his head where I want it. I'll let this sit for a few hours, not just a little over an hour. I'll let it sit for a couple of hours, uh, probably three. And then I'll come back and I'll figure out what kind of finish, finish I'm going to use on it. Time to spray the finish on the frog. Two or three, four coats, whatever it takes. I'm using Deft Gloss Lacquer, my finish of choice. So I'll put a few coats on and, and then we will I'll let that cure up good and put the eyes on. And I'll let this dry for a half hour and I'll come back and hit it with another coat and a half hour hit it with another coat etc and when it's all done I'll come back and we'll put the after it's dried we'll put the eyes on him okay that's four coats I think I'm gonna stop there it's looking pretty good so I'm gonna let this cure overnight and tomorrow I'll put the eyes on him and and he'll be done. And of course, my audio screwed up on me again. I, I hope it was related to my video card going down, but uh, we'll have to wait and see if this continues to happen. About every third or fourth video, uh, it sounds like a talking chipmunk. So I, I don't know why I have to do these voiceovers, but here it is. 
uh, what I'm going to do in this video is I'm simply going to glue the, uh, actually they're sticky backed, the Google eyes on the frog and so I'll just peel the paper off and stick the eyes on and this little rascal is going to be done. So here he is, all finished. She really likes him, and I'm happy about that. So one little scrolled and dyed frog in the books. Thanks for watching, everybody.